Hi. Hello, everyone. Hi. Um, <laughs> hola, hola. There's a lot of people from from Latinoamérica, so. <laughs> We were speaking in Spanish. Uh, yeah, yeah. Don't worry, don't worry. It's shocking, it's shocking. <laughs> um, well, my name is Claudio Caraciolo, and I am from Argentina. With me is Sheila Berta, is from Argentina too. Both working in Telefónica. In a, in a unit called 11 Path, it's a civil unit from Telefonica. Uh, this is our first talk in English, so be patient with us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. or, or, or drink something, I don't know, it's, it's the same for me. Yeah? Um, this talk is about the bicho. Yeah, yes. The bicho is, about, is, is a hardware uh, backdoor. And we also construct, construct an, an software to do this backdoor uh, functionality uh, better, yes? So to start in talking about this, we have to talk about why, yeah, why, why we are working about uh, backdoor in a, a canvas, yes? And, and, the, and the real question is why not? Is why, why, we can, uh, why we can do, the, or we can backdoor our computer, we can modify our computer, our, our server, our, our phones, but, and, and why not we can do the same with, the, with our car, yes? And just we are curiously people uh, like you, <laughs> like all of you, so the real reason is because we can. <laughs> this, this is the, the, the project. So uh, the first thing that we need to, to talk with you is about safety, because car hacking is not the same like computer hacking, because it's dangerous. <laughs> you can modify th something in the CAN message that can activate the brake or, or the gas pedal or, or just some function in the shine and, and you can break something or you can, uh, you, you could in, uh, cause injury in someone. So you have to, to be, um, uh, um, okay. yeah, also, uh, careful, careful, <laughs> thank you. Careful, gracias a todos los españoles. <laughs> You have to be careful with this because uh, there is not there is not so important how you are how trained are you because accidents occur yeah so you can see that in that in this sample for example okay He is worried about safety. Huh? <laughs> uh, okay, when, when we talk about car hacking, most of you see, uh, think about the connector car, the model, uh, the model cars, yeah? Because in the model cars that we can find in our country, yeah? okay, it's not working, yeah? Uh, <laughs> You, you have a lot of, uh, a lot of things of connectivity. For example, you have the TPM. <laughs> Fine. Yeah, that's true, that's true. It's my car. No. In the connected car, you have GPS, you have Bluetooth, you have Wi-Fi, you have the TPM model for pressure, uh, for, for pressure. You have SIM, SIM cards to control your car. You have a lot of interface to do something with the car, even USB or some, some storage, yeah, like SSID. So you have a lot of things to do or to play, but what, what happened with the canvas, with the, the network or the, or the real network of your car? We want to work with this type of network because in our country it's not so common to uh, find this type of car. Well, okay, this type of car, see, with all these <laughs> things, yeah, it's not so common. So we want to play with this and, and find, and find, um, uh, and find one, one way to access the network of the, of the car and to control it remotely. Yeah, this is the, the project that we work. 
So for most of you, maybe Canvas is not so common, so we, we, are, um, we need to do a, a quick review about how Canvas work. Uh, <laughs> this talk is not about how Canvas, so it's uh, just a quick review. Can, the Canvas or the controller area network is a all um, all standard, all um, yes, it's, a, it's an old standard. Then um, about 13 years, yeah. So in that moment, security is was an issue. So that Canvas was designed to work in some environment with a lot of noise, with a lot of, uh, uh, yes, and noise is the correct word, because you have an engine. <laughs> and so you have a lot of noise in the, in the interface uh, itself. So Canvas is, was designed to be uh, faster, to be um, um, efficiently, but not, f f but not secure. Yeah? <coughs> in, in that moment, all networks I, with Canvas sh was not only for cars. You can you can find some network with Canvas uh, or or with Can protocol in industrial environment. Yeah, in, in like the people before here. <laughs> um, but when we talk about Canvas, we have to uh, for a car we have to to talk about an an standard from 1996. That was the, the introduction of this connector in our cars. Yes, this connector is the ODBD2 ports. It's not very clear, but it's a connector. That <laughs> um, this connector you can find in your car, in in the, in the cabin of your car, and is used to diagnostic or for diagnostic purpose. Um, and this is standard that was included in that date. You have a lot of pins that every um, manufacturer in your car can decide, can decide for what they will be using. Yeah. There is some ex, um, specific, um, specific pins like signal grounding or can high and can low that are standards, but you have a lot of things, a lot of pins that you can use or not if it's decided for the manufacturer, yes? <laughs> okay, this is the war part and it's difficult but it's necessary to understand. I hope super right. <laughs> okay, when we're talking about CAM, we have to talking about CAM bus. That's why CAM network is based on a bus to Porsche. Each node could be a sensor or a vehicle EQ, and the information transmitted on the bus can be used by several nodes at the same time. <coughs> um, uh, SCAM was developed for use in automated environments where there is a lot of noise. It uses a system known as differential voltage, and that allows it to gain immunity against interference. Yeah. In this system, uh, there is a transmitter that transmits a signal in duplicate, one with positive value and the other one with negative value. These are can high and can low signals. Yeah? If the receiver receives a sing two signals that are not equal, it is it assuming that it's noise on the bus. Yeah? Uh, moreover, CAN protocol has something known as inverted logic, where we have a uh, uh, dominant state, which is zero, and a recessive state, which is uh, one. So it influences a bit in the frame format. In that graph, we can see a standard count frame. The green part is the retention fields that contains the frame's ID. And one important thing here is that the, those IDs with mostly zeros will have higher purity on the bus. So that's why uh, CAM frames associated with the engine has the lowest ID, so the higher purity on the CAM bus. Yeah? And after that, we have the data length in yellow and the data itself in red that can contain a maximum of eight bytes. And we, as we can observe, 
They aren't source or destination addresses, neither source or destination ports like protocols we know better, such as TCP IP. So a CAN node has to check the arbitration fields to know if it should take the frame data. Yeah? Uh, I guess my English is not good enough to explain this clearly, uh, so you can go to Wikipedia as well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is how a CAN frame looks like. Uh, we have to know that a CAN frame does not indicate anywhere what kind of information is carried. For example, a CAN frame that is carrying information about RPM does not indicate anywhere that its information is about RPM. So that's why to find out what kind of information each frame is carrying, we have to do a reversing process. Yep. For that, there is a lot of different tools. Uh, this is an oscilloscope and it's the lowest level tool we can find to analyze CAN signals. Don't use it. <laughs> Don't use it, yeah, yeah. In our case, we had a CAN module that allowed us to see the hexadecimal representation of such signals. Yeah, but yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's too fast to see. You know. <laughs> it's impossible. <laughs> and on the other hand, we have the higher level tools that allow us to see CAN frames in a nice way and we can analyze them so, so much easy, in an easy way. Yep. Anyway, it's still too hard. So <laughs> We have an example here. We are doing in, in a BW uh, Fox. Yeah? We just start the light and this is what's occurring in the, in the, in the sniffer. Yeah? So if you see this, the, it, it is again. Just, you can see that the only action that I do is start the light, is put the light in on, yeah? But there is a lot of, of frames of the data in, in traveling the, in the canvas. That is why uh, it's very difficult to do this one because in your house when you put in on the, 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 the light, off, <laughs> the light, yeah? uh, the light it's just one command. You put in, in, in on and the light is on. That's all. That's all. <laughs> there is not magic. But in the car, when you activate the light in your car, the canvas is, say, the, um, the model, I'm sorry, for the light is sending every time, um, every second, a, a lot of frames send uh, with the message a lights on, lights on, lights on, lights on, lights on, yeah? Not just once, yeah? So, when you activate this one, you can see, for my horrible explanation, that there is a line with one change every time. But it's not the, uh, it's not the case because when you activate the light in your car, you have that message constantly, but you have another message. Why? Because when you start the light in your car, not only the light in the car is, is on, uh, because you have the activation of the panel of the instrumental where you have the, the, the icon of the light and you have other lights in your panel that put it on and, and maybe other function depending on the car. So in this car that is an old, well, okay, it's, it's, it's an old car uh, and, and, and it's a mechanical uh, ac action, uh, we have a lot of message, but think about what happened with a new car. For example, an Honda Civic and Honda Civic uh, from this year. We have a video about what happened when you put the, the key in, uh, in the ignition mode. <laughs> it's the fucking matrix. <laughs> yeah. So, the real question is that. Is this one. How we can find the CAN frame we want? Yes, it's, it's a bit difficult. So nowadays there are several tools to analyze CAN bus. Uh, here in the car hacking village or in the vendors area, we can find some of them. Uh, can spy, car loop, can tag, can analyzer from microchip, or even we can use um, socket CAN with open hardware tool as well. With, with the CAN util for Linux, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sure. 
And in our case, we began using Kaval Loop and Canalizer from Microchip. And usually, these tools allow us to inject can frames on the bus as well. But the frequency with which this tool makes the transmissions may not be enough, fast enough to can bus. Yeah? That's when that happens. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. As, as he said, each node is, is signed currently, is current state. So constantly, it's current state. So in, in this case, the light module is saying that the lights are off while we are injecting every 100 milliseconds that the lights are on. So this is what produces the, the flicker effect. So you can see that we need more speed to inject that, that payload. So uh, with software, it's not so easy. So we, we build an, an hour backdoor to do this uh, uh, with the ODB2 ports. So that is why we start working in that project. And we present this one in the co-party the last year. And for this moment, for this project, a lot of people ask, ask, ask uh, us about uh, how it, it, it is possible to some, someone put in your car a backdoor, a hardware backdoor, yeah, and you don't, don't notice that. Yeah? Uh, the, the answer is easy because if you, for example, left your car in a car wash, it's a good opportunity for someone to put something in your, in your ODB2 ports or maybe in a valid parking. There are moments and when you left your car and, and some, someone can do, can do that. Or maybe if you uh, uh, give a ride some spy, maybe. <laughs> or, or maybe if you are married with Shane's mom. I don't know. <laughs> yeah? There is a possibility that we start working in that project that was the first one. Yeah, yeah when, when we began, we start with a simple injector. And there are um, PIC 18 f 2680 yeah, with a transceiver you know, to convert and high and low signals. And it's kind of the firmware that we develop in assembly can inject with a grid with a great speed on the CAN frame. So avoiding that what we saw in the previous video. And after came the malicious ideas. <laughs> and we thought how we could control this remotely. So we, had, we added a uh, SIM 800L so, so that to control the, the hardware backdoor through SMS commands. Yeah? And that was the result. <laughs> Our first proof of concept uh, works, works fine. And after that, uh, we thought that we would be nice uh, to setting up the conference and the attacks commands through a PC software, so avoiding hard coding the the, car, the gun frames and the commands into the firmware. So yeah, so we added a, a USB interface. Uh, we have to develop a new hardware. Yeah, uh, where there is two modes, ha uh, hack hack mode and a programming mode. And uh, we can toggle between, between two modes via this switch. Yeah, you have the programming mode and the hack mode, yeah. And this the new hardware has a, it's, it looks, looks a bit nice, just you use SMD components, yeah? It's this one. Yeah, it's this one, yeah. And uh, here we can see, it's the comparison with a rubber decky. As uh, you can see, it's little, little hardware, yeah. <clears throat> so, we we have it at this, at this moment. At this moment, let me see. At this moment, we think about is it was a nice project, but we need to improve it. Why? Because to configure this one, how like Shaylee say, we need to know about assembler. Yeah, you have to put that put out the the microchip, uh, program it, and put it, it again. So. We start working in this new interface and new and this new design, and we we uh, need or we want create another um, another piece of this project that was software. Yeah. So 
this is the real thing about the car back door maker. So for us, this is the bicho, yeah? and this is the car back door maker. Why? Because in this program, you don't need to know anything about assembler, anything about programming. Just you know to need the correct frame that you want to inject. Yeah? Put it right in the, the memory, and it's all. So this is the other part of this project. And when we start creating this, we work in this setup, in this basic, basic setup, when you can see the ID, the, the identif identificator, um, I, think, I think that Sheila told you, but when the ID is lower, is, is, uh, there is, high, there is higher, 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 higher priority on the bus. Yeah. Higher priority in the bus. So, because the lower, the lower ID is the engine function, yeah? Uh, this is the, the length of the frame, and these are the data in, eight, uh, in the eight bytes. This is the first, uh, uh, the first part, and we have the SMS control. So, when we create this one, if you read a message, a frame message from the cam that start the light, you can put that correct frame here. You can say go with with a SMS you will control it, yeah? And just press right and it's, it, that's all. But when we construct this, uh, uh, when we build this uh, application, we start thinking about another function, <laughs> yeah? And we, we start working in the advanced setups. The first thing is in the possibility to introduce your for numbers. So you, if you put this one in your car, and you send and you put here your your phone number, so only you can control this this bicho, yeah, and anyone scan. And the second thing is is uh, to run automatically so this payload. How, for example, if you in your car. Throw, uh, throw. Uh, you are driving your car and throw for a specific location with uh, a, G a GPS. I can s tell to the program, to the bicho, that start automatically the the payload. For example, for uh, activating the fre the brakes, or for starting the light, or for or for controlling the fuel, or everything. Yeah, and the same. We we work the same with the. With a specific frame, for, so if you are working, you are driving your car, and you, for example, start the light. I can tell tell you to the bicho that when you start the light, the the car stop, yeah, the, the engine stop, yeah, or the brake stop. I don't know. But if you want to see this one. Podemos verlo aquí. <risa> Español, ¿eh? Estoy sufriendo con un condenado. Hace okay. muchos años que no sufría tanto en una charla. Me mandó a mí. Qué caro, qué caro. Creo que fui yo, pero bueno. Qué <risa> bien. Por ejemplo. This is the, the bicho in the programming mode, yeah? With this deep switch down, it's in programming mode. You can see that we have a, a, a green light. light. Yeah, green. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But if I start the program, <laughs> la gente de seguridad. <laughs> la seguridad pesta. <laughs> if I start the program, then I just put the connect button. <coughs> This light is red now. Yes. So th this is, is telling me that there is a communication between the software and the hardware. Yeah. So if I know the correct um, frame, I just put it here. And the, and the correct SMS that I want to use to control this one. 
which uh, which four letter have uh, can I have can I use um, which I want? So I can use four letter in for case it, that's all. For example, and it's okay. Yeah. I, here I can tell my my phone number. And if I press right, that's all. <coughs> the module is ready to hack. Yeah? So I just <coughs> disconnect this here, put this one, put this in, in app to hacking mode and, and connect this in the in the other region. That's all. Yeah. <laughs> they are friends. <laughs> Thank you. El video, ahora. Bueno. So, but at this point we have. Sorry. But at this point we have another problem that because to do this one we know to we need to know the correct frame. So we have another problem. Yeah, I have to sniff my car every time. Or, but I have another problem that my car, for example, have a specific message. Can I do to control the light, the the brakes, the speed, everything? And your car, I'm sure, use another another kind of message. Yeah, because it's not a standard that message. Uh, every manufacturer has implemented his own uh, can message. Even in the same uh, manufacturer, every every model has different uh, cam, um, cam frame. So we start we 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 start working in another thing that is the, an open can database. Yeah, and, and an open can database is an a shared database just to share information about the can message. If you read with some sniffer a, me a can message for your car, you can come here, put add can frame, and that's all. Yeah? Complete this information. So if if the, you you don't find your car, you can add a new car and if you don't have the vector you can add a new vector and it's totally totally open and free for you. Yeah. Two. So at this moment we have a hardware, we have a software, and an open can database. So you you have a lot of fun, <laughs> yes. And everything is free. Yeah, that, that's the, the the beautiful of this one. And you can see an example of this one with this video. We we send a message with light on, and now a message with the stop the light. And the light is off. Thank you. Sí, el enano era. Este, if if you are thinking that is that so, uh, the the correct the correct answer is yes. It is. It is for now. For now, yeah. This project is not over. Uh -huh. So, um, to finish this, uh, I, I want to thank some people that support us for uh, Nicoleño for our English. Yeah, it's his fault. <laughs> yeah. uh, Eva and Chris for the design of the web page, the Código del Código K for for the design either, and Mondalan for his support and we sharing Canvas for for the database. Yeah, it's that's all. So thank you very much. And if you have questions, we are here. In Spanish. Yeah, I'm not familiar um, with cars yeah. generally. Um, where is it located? Um, is it easily visible if my car was hacked? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> the poor, the over the two parties yeah. is really exposed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's below the steering wheel. Yeah, yeah. yeah. On the, on the, Isn't the steering or or o pilón de ¿cómo te lo digo? <risa> eh, en el volante o en la guantera. Es en el cabin. Ya, please. Para el de la USO, 
along, the, the connector is uh, to the left of the steering column. Down on eBay sells key locks. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, so if you're concerned about it, you buy the key lock, you put it on. Mm -hmm. yeah, nice. Right. Thank you very much. Uh, not that far down. Because oh. you have, no. By law, you have to be able to have, have a driver car connected in you know, without putting your head between your knees and your left foot in the passenger side. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Any other questions? <laughs> the audience. <laughs> you're not, you're not, yeah. you can't. <laughs> How long did it take for you to develop all this? How long? How long? Uh, oh. <laughs> the A year? <laughs> ten, ten months, I don't know. Yeah, yeah ten months. Yeah. Yeah. It's, a, it's our hobby, so it's, yeah, it's, it's not, not work. <laughs> yeah, um, the, I think well, all the project was, uh, was not easy, but the, um, I think that uh, it's difficult to find the, the correct frame. This is yeah. a, a, a this is a very complicated work. Yeah, we had a, a lot of reversing processes to find the cam frame you want for the lights, for the engine, or whatever. So yeah, yeah, it's yeah. take take a lot a lot of time. That, that's because we we do the the open database. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is a, to to share. Yeah. So. Yes. Yeah. With cellular carriers. Specific cellular carriers when you plug in your phone number. So no, okay. you, you can put anyone. It's not a, it's not a problem. Yeah. The, the GSM is for 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 locating with the provider, yeah. But it's not important the the sale of the of the of the chip, yeah. Yeah. This is. I say this because. They have GSM and they have CDMA. Okay, no, it's okay. GSM, yeah. 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 I'm sorry, yeah. <laughs> oh, any other question? Uh -huh. Okay, oh. thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> and, and